morning, good morning. Good afternoon, it just turned 12. for folks to get on. I am going through to see if I can come up with some items here that we can use just for some demo purposes. Hey Tina, how are you? I have been doing some live presentations with my Inky Gatherings group today. So I've got to go back and be able to watch all of the demos from today, but from what I'm seeing and hearing, everything has been wonderful, just wonderful. So, um, today is going to be more about technique rather than a, a finished product. Although, um, I'm going to show you the finished product. This is using our vellum, um, which comes in the 8.5 by 11 sheets, and this is the cardstock. And for demo purposes, I've just cut it down into quarter sheet sizes. And then, this is a card where I just basically took half of one of those sheets. This is another one um, using the braided technique here, but you can see this is the sky um in behind the wildflowers and so forth so those are what we're going to be doing today um i hope all the presenters have had lots of presentations that um have had lots of folks interacting with them that's one of the big things when we do this but um i'll go ahead and get started um, I am Carolyn Bosley, Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator, and I do have a um, Inky Gatherings Facebook group. Um, so if you, uh, even though you're a demonstrator, you're welcome to join that group. Come on anytime and see what we're doing. I am normally live every Saturday at 10 a.m. Um, and um, we're going to show the vellum today. We're going to show our um, water painters and I'm going to be using the largest one and we're going to be using um, a variety of blends just in different colors to sort of show you um, some techniques okay so please let me know that you're on and um, you know of course we all like to see those um, hearts and thumbs up and um, thank you for joining me I am using um, a one of the silicone mats underneath where I'm working just so um, it doesn't get my, my paper mat just soaking wet. Um, and you really don't need that much um, thing, much stuff, but that's what we use. And I am using 91% um, rubbing alcohol. Hey, Nita. Hey, Cindy. Um, I have found that the 70% will work on occasion, um, but I have just found that the higher strengths really work with, with dispersing the alcohol, um, inks, the blends, uh, much better on the vellum. So let me show you, I'm going to show you a couple pieces here that I did just as some sampling. This end was done with the darker colors, and you can see that it just gives a more substantial coloring uh, to it. This end is the same blends, but it gives you a much lighter and it disperses those colors out much more on that, okay? But I can still cut that down and use it on a card. Um, this is the same thing using some of the pinks. This was only blues and greens. I think this was Night of Navy and Granny Apple Green, uh, but this was the dark. This was the lights, okay? This one was Calypso Coral, some yellow, just, just a few different colors, maybe even a little bit of blue it looks like in here. But again, I used the same colors here. This was the dark blends, and this is the light blends. Thank you, Allison. I love doing this technique, and you're going to see if you have not done it, it is very, very easy to do. Um, this is very, um, what I call more spotchy. So I did one color at a time and just 
drop the ink or drop the alcohol onto the ink and, and I'll show you as we go through but that's going to make a beautiful card to either use a punch and punch out um, butterfly or something or um, just a square or a circle to go underneath it'll be great um, here is the piece <clears throat> that I had left over from the blue that I used on this card and again you can see the lighter you do or the darker the more alcohol you place on there the more dispersing you're going to get and it will just do great now someone asked me okay can i blend a sharpie marker the answer is no buy the blends they work wonderfully um and you could this is the bronze sharpie and i will show you in a minute but no it does not disperse um and if you use the bronze blend yes it will disperse okay so there's that one and then of course this is just to show you the extra piece that i cut away from this one okay so there we go so a couple cards just to show you how they were used uh, but today we are just going to take a look at the technique more than anything else so i have my piece of vellum and again vellum card stock and let's just oh you're going to hear i've got a buddy here in my stamp room today and she's actually a a member of the north carolina demos also faye russell's here with me today so she's over on the other side doing some die cutting so um faye says hello to everybody hello. so um you literally this takes an artist by the way you have to be an artist to be able to do this <laughs> you i'm so teasing watch how, th how this goes see scribble I'm just doing all sorts of colors to get some things going here. Do you see how this scribbling is happening? Okay. And should be using the brush in. It's a whole lot easier. I'm literally scribbling as we go. Okay. And I just pulled some blends out of my box. I don't have all colors. But um, just to get some feel. And... You don't have to totally coat, <clears throat> excuse me, your entire um, sheet, but you want to get a lot of it um, coated, okay? So, I think, without pulling some, oh, let's just do a little bit. I'm pulling one more. I don't know what color it is. Oh, this is an older one. Sorry, but it is the Blendabilities. So, um, let's... Get some colors on there okay so see how hard this is so far okay who cannot do this much okay everybody should be able to do this so this is going to work for all customers um and so forth i am going to use the uh, uh, the water painter sorry still wanting to say aqua painter i'm going to use the water painter and all i've done is fill this with the 91 percent alcohol okay some of your customers may not have this so you might want to start by showing and I have poured just a small amount of this in a little cup here. Um, just This is a brush. I didn't go out and buy a special one. This is just, just a brush. It's good to have. I like to have a wider brush. It doesn't necessarily have to have an angle. It's just what I had in my stash. Okay. And I normally start with one color at a time. And it may look a little quirky. Um, but that's what I do. Okay. Then, here, when you start seeing those dark colors, that's when you start seeing the movement, okay? And you don't need lots. Sometimes with this brush, I get lots. And um, that's why I really like our aqua painter. And I'm just dabbing. I know it's hard to see, but I'm just dabbing. And I'm taking it to the edge, even though I'm probably going to cut this down to size. I'm taking the colors to the edge. That's why um, I use the silicone mat so that you can take it to the edge and it's not getting everything wet for you. And the alcohol, of course, is going to dry quickly. Um, one thing that I have found is that, yes, you want this to dry on its own don't um you don't need to dry it with a um 
heat gun or anything like that. Let it dry on its own. You'll have less likelihood for um, the extensive bowing and things like that. And and once you are done, some of mine bowed a little, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> you can literally use your sticky strip to put things down so that your strip things don't show. Or if you use glue dots, just cover them with a small uh, rhinestone or something that you've cut out, um, you know, from, from a punch or something or one of your die cuts to be able to um, see those. Okay, so that's the wet side. If you can see, I'm hoping you can see that. <clears throat> and I'm going to flip it over because you can use either side when you get done. There's the opposite side. Hey, Lisa. So that's a real light coloring to me. This is a real springy look. Um, you could put flowers and so forth. And the colors are, it's really hard to show online because um, these colors are so beautiful and vibrant in person. Um, sometimes the, the lighting and so forth just online really takes it away. But there's, there's one. Okay, now that was done with a brush and tub in case your customers don't have and you know so you're having to pour the alcohol out into a tub you're having to find a brush whereas an upsell to this would be the three brushes i think it's like 12 bucks for the three brushes thanks buffy um but you can um use this i've lost my paper now Let me just see. I am crazy, girls. Okay, so, yeah, I threw my paper towel that I was using in the trash right here beside me. So, I just filled this up with the alcohol, and um, we're going to lay this one to the side. Okay, I'll pull it back in a moment, and I'm just going to pull another sheet. So, this time, we will use our aqua or water painters. And there's so many other things, you know, you actually can put the water in there and use it to paint when you're using the um, uh, watercolor brushes. Um, and there's just a lot of different things we can do with them. So upsell these brushes when we can. So this time I'm just going to use some blues, different colors. And I mean, scribble more than one time when you're doing it. I, I, I'm bad to close my brush up make sure when you are closing those brushes up that you are hearing that snap so that they do dry properly let's put some green in here okay and let's put a little pool party too i think maybe it's not going to matter if you overlap a whole lot. Just you don't want to do anything that would um, contaminate the different colors and so forth on your brushes. Just sort of watch. Now, um, I think we're good. So have, have a lot of you guys done this technique before? Um I'm just going to add a little bit of purple in a couple places here. Might end up being pink since it's a light. I don't even know which color I pulled. Um, oh, nope. This is one that's gone. So, it's the old purple posy. It may still be in there. It's available. But let's see. So, we've got those. So, again, and I just keep a, a napkin folded up to the side. Um... You could use your chamois if you were just um, uh, going to be cleaning your chamois real quickly, I think. But I just use the um, paper towel. It's very simple. Most of the time somebody has one in, in you know, close. Um, it really is close to the polished stone technique, Allison. And you can actually do these, use this. You just sort of have to change it up a little bit, but you can use this on the glossy paper. You can also use it on the window sheet, okay? So again, I am just going to start daubing. I'm getting my brush a little wetter here. And I'm doing all my blues first. Just trying to get those to run a little. Okay. 
I just love this look. And, you know, especially since right now the the, the one set of papers um, and the stamp set is unavailable um, for just a little bit. This is a great way to sell the blends and your markers. I'm sorry, the, blend, the, the blends and your aqua painters. And I'll say aqua painters probably till the very last time we have them in the catalog. The water painters. I'm so used to aqua painters. So, let's see if I can show it on the white. Yeah, it really does turn out gorgeous. So, let's see if you can see this. I love using these blends. You can, And I mean, there's, you know, I teased in the beginning that you really had to be an artist. But there is no reason that anyone can't mm -hmm. do this as far as artistic. It's just, it's just not hard at all. And look at that on that side. You know, turned on to the white. These are gorgeous. Now, one more thing. Let me uh, get this cleaned a little bit. So, I've seen some do this. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. But there was no way around that one. Okay. Um, Let's see what we've got in here. I'm just going to pull a few, and I'm looking for dark colors. So I have a dark knot of navy. Um, that one says light cherry cobbler. This one says dark calypso coral. And dark granny apple green. Okay, let's do these three. So you can take your pen. Oh, thanks, Allison. Um, just scribble, okay, and then scribble, oh, wrong end, scribble, not, okay, so then what we would do is, let me get some, oh, got a lot flowing there, if you, just put it right on those and let it go itself. This is one way of doing it, okay? And then just let that dry. I know it doesn't look real pretty right this minute, but this, okay, is very similar to the look that that will give you. Hey, Miss Beth. Um, so I'm just going to move that over. Oh, you can see it running and see how it does. Okay, so there you go. There's the look of that one. Okay, and that just gives you a more prominent look. Um, you have to be careful with the amount of alcohol you use, though, so that it doesn't run together and just really muddy, muddy. But um, that, that's good to go there. So then I'm going to pull another piece in. And this is an example of... Oops, sorry. Doing one at a time then. Let me move this over. So let's this is the dark calypso. So I'm just going to do that. Okay. Then what some do is just to the side around it. Okay. And let it go in there. And you can see, see how it mutes it up. So whatever color you think you're doing, don't think it's going to be that dark when you finish, if that makes sense, because it really lightens up. Okay, then we're going to take, this is the dark knot of navy, and this is just taking it to the side and letting it come in. So this is not putting it on there, it's just dispersing it from putting the alcohol on the outside. Okay. Um, green. And then once it dries, if you need to go do a filler or if you need to, um, I'm just trying to get some here. And again, it all depends on the look. So once this dries, 
couple things that I might do. I might come in a little bit more with some green in here and, and pull it together. I haven't done spraying, and the reason I haven't is because they say, now if I was outside, I would feel comfortable spraying. Inside, they say not to do the heavy alcohol uh, dispersing through spritzers. And with this being a high percentage alcohol, I just have not. Now, um, yes, outside, have not a problem with that. Sometimes I'll take things out on the porch and work on those. But um, in my craft room, I've got the air conditioner going because of the pollen and not open windows. I don't feel that comfortable doing um, the spritzing inside. But yes, you could do the spritzing. Um, air spritzer is, is a fine spritzer, so it's going to... Just do it a little bit differently, but you, you'll get a little bit different look. But overall, it's really, really good. So, there are those. Get some alcohol ink up here. And then, here's the one. Like I said, you can go either side. Turn it either side. I'm going to steal a piece of phase white paper for just a moment. And I think maybe you might be able to see it better. It's pretty. Yeah, it just goes so well. So springy, springy looking. So that was the second one we did. Here's the first one we have done after we've gotten it all dried up. Okay, so one more, one more thing that I want to show you. And I'll probably just use... Oh no, let me get a clean sheet just so you can see it fresh. Um, oh, and here's one. Wanted to show you just so this is good to demonstrate to your customers because it's it, it really helps sell the um, blend or blends. So here's where I marked the bronze Sharpie. Um, and I'm putting the alcohol right on there. And you can see it does not phase it. And I did it fresh showing um, before, so right after I marked it. So it's not because it won't move, because let's see. Here is this one that I just did. Make sure I get the right side. If I put more alcohol on here, it just disperses that alcohol. You can see again. Okay, so, so it does disperse the alcohol. It or the the blends it will not do the sharpie markers so that's just a good thing to know um to show and i think i said i had one more maybe what was that now see i'm crazy that i just lose my mind um let's see what else we can do what did i do <laughs> Got to find my end again. Let's turn it this way. Yeah, Rosemary, it's just that they, they say not to do the spritz of alcohol in an unvented area. If you've got a, a good vented area, you're good to go. You're good to go with it. Um, so, thanks, Cindy. I love the blues and the greens. Love the blues and the greens. Um, so... Let's just see what we get. Okay, we're just going to see what we come up with here. I am going to the edge of the paper. And I cut it, if, it just depends on what I'm doing and what my plans are for the paper. Um, I will cut it all the way down uh, to the size I need or I'll do larger sheets and then cut from those. Okay. And you have to decide how much alcohol you want to put on to be able to get rid of the, the marks and so forth that you are using. 
Okay. Ninety-one or above is the strength that I use, um, just because it seems to work and it will disperse. Um, there we go. So. And you can see what I was talking about, the bowing. But then you just put it under a good heavy book. Okay? Look at that. I love it, love it, love it. Okay? Oh, yes. You can do a rainbow technique with this. No problem at all. It works. Um, just watch. You know, you don't want to muddy your color. So just do one at a time. And, and then to put the other one on is what I would do. Um, and you would be good to go. Okay, ladies and gents, I think I am with within my four-minute limit of 30. So, um, again, you can cut these and make whatever you want to do with them. Um, if I were to grab one, I'm just going to grab this one right here. And I am actually, one more thing that I will show is... Let's cut without tearing. Okay, for the sake of camera, I am moving those off for time purposes. And look there. So you can add these as embellishments once they are on there. Okay. Yes, it is vellum that I'm using, Beth, but it's vellum cardstock that's available in the catalog, okay? It's not the um, vellum paper. You, you need a thicker, like we sell the vellum cardstock, and I think it's on the page with, um, it's not the page that has the ombre colors and so forth, but it's, it's another page over or two, so, um, but there you go. Uh, I hope... This is something that you guys will try because it's a great, great, great technique. Um, I think your customers will enjoy it, seeing what all that they can do. And really, if you had two uh, to three packs of the blends in different colors, you're good to go. Okay? So, have a great afternoon and enjoy the rest of the um, presentations. Happy stamping!